What's up, y'all? So, I get to go to the convention one more time. I'm going to Cleveland this weekend on Saturday. I am so excited. I'm getting ready to go with my family from the East. Yeah, they were forced to adopt me, so... Uh, they had just so happened to mention that they were going, and I was like, can I get in the van and go too? I mean, you never know who you'll see in Cleveland at the convention. So, anyway. I mean, that's not why I'm going. But I'm just being nosy, y'all. Anyway, the pattern that I'm going to be using for my dress uh, this weekend is the McCall's MP201. Little handkerchief effect, which is great because that means it's gonna cover my legs. Now, this I originally wanted to do with the black and gold fabric that you guys saw as the bonus dress at the end of the country club chic video. Um, but like usual, I only bought a yard and a half, and this calls for. three and one eighth yard so yeah I wasn't even close the fabric that I'm going to be using is this really really cute ethnic print fabric it is like a teal and orange and white this is from Joanne Fabrics let me see what it says here cotton the fabric of our lives <laughs> so uh, I know that I bought three yards of this, so I should have more than enough fabric to make this dress. Hopefully. But I am getting ready to cut it out. It has already been washed. I'm just going to go ahead and press it. Then I'm going to get started on cutting it out. I am going to be doing this variation here with the sleeves. Um, I have not determined what shoes I'm wearing yet. I kind of want to wear a shoe that is not in this color scheme. I wanted to wear like a plum magenta shoe and I have bought these very very cute magenta nine west flats from Marshalls my foot is so fat y'all I could not foresee me wearing these comfortably throughout an entire day so I took them back so once I get this dress made and I put it on I will be able to tell what shoe in my closet because I got a lot of them which one I'm going to wear Okay, good people. Well, I will see you at the convention or back here or once this dress is done. Yeah, let's just say that. Once the dress is done, I'll see y'all. So you guys know how I usually put the dress on the dress form about right here, about right here, and show you uh, the things I've done to it, uh, changed, a little made, some adjustments or some alterations. Yeah, this dress is just too fun to not wear and show you at the same time. Like, y'all saw me spinning and stuff. I can't wait to do that when I put this dress on. Okay, so let's talk about the dress. Um... It turned out just how I wanted it to. Like, I'm so excited about this dress. I actually wore it last Saturday to the convention in Cleveland. And it's next weekend on Sunday. I had to wear it to my meeting because, of course, my congregation hadn't seen it yet. So, I had to let them see it. <laughs> and, of course, they all were just, they all loved it. They did. I had some people say that it was an African print. I had somebody say that it reminded them of a Native American print because of um, the fringe on the end of it. It don't even matter because it's fly, okay? So, let me tell you the alterations that I did make to the dress. 
Um, I think I made it in the second to largest size that was on the pattern, which I think was a size 12. I should have made it in a 14 because it is really tight across the bust. Like I told you guys before, when I make things on short notice, I really don't have a lot of time to be trying to figure out stuff. <laughs> so it's made for a bust 36. I am going to start buying my dress patterns in a size 38, unless it is a uh, knit dress, then I'm just going to probably continue wearing them in a bust either 34 or 36. But for um, fabrics that do not have any stretch in it, which this one does not, it was a shirting fabric from Joann's, um, I'm going to start making my dresses in a bust 38 to account for my cup size as well as my broad shoulders. Um... I think that maybe if I had made less seam allowance, instead of doing 5 eighths, maybe if I had done half an inch or 3 eighths, I probably would have a little bit more wiggle room in here. Um, but because changing the seam allowance in the bodice but not doing it in the skirt would make a difference, and I didn't think about that until after I had started working on the bodice and the skirt was already finished, I just made everything 5 eighths seam allowance just to keep everything just so and the dress turned out really great I mean it's not uncomfortable and actually the more that I wear it the more it kind of loosens up in the shoulder and bust area but I would like it to be a little bit looser in this area so that when I'm reaching for stuff I'm not kind of like reaching slowly <laughs> to make sure that I'm not tearing any of the seams apart but other than that I will be wearing this dress more often I'm going to be making this pattern more often, it is definitely in the category with top favorite of all time. Like, y'all know that gold pattern is my favorite? This is a real, real close second. Um, the other alterations. Now, on the pattern, it does give you the option to add this band onto it to make it a little bit longer. Because um, I think you can actually shorten the skirt on the dress. But because of the handkerchief hem on it, the parts that are not the corners are, are kind of short. And I was afraid of how short it was going to be. And it is actually at my knee when standing straight. But I wanted it to be longer because I wanted my knees to be covered. So I went ahead and added the band, but I still wasn't sure that that was going to be long enough on me. So that's why I added the fringe. And... <laughs> It, it did take a little, a little time to add the fringe on. Like, this pattern is an easy pattern. Like, you can do this pattern in, in a couple of hours. From, from, like, literally, you go by the store at the fabric, and by the time you sew on the zipper, it probably wouldn't take you more than four hours to do this. However, adding on the fringe took a little bit of work because I also made a facing for the band. Now, the original pattern does not call for a facing on the band. That's something that I added because I wanted the fringe to be captured inside of the facing and the right side of the fabric. So that I wouldn't have any raw edges or anything like that. Uh, and no raw hem exposed to it. Also, I top stitched the band as well with the same colors in the dress. Orange, teal. And royal blue and then one more orange one right above where the fringe is just to give it a little bit more flair and this dress is I'm telling you guys I'm so excited this dress is is like a dream I love it I will be making this in so many more fabrics I can't wait to do this in a knit um, oh before I even get started on that one more thing that I did different to the dress um, I put the zipper on the outside because, okay, the outfits that I did for my convention with the blazers and the skirts, those were very conservative, which I do have a conservative side. She don't come out that often, but I do have a conservative side. So I wanted my last dress to be something wild, even though some of y'all are going to be like, that's not wild. It's wild, okay? Because it's not like those outfits. Those are outfits that you can pick up any ready-to-wear department store Place like that this is a would be a boutique item and it's got lots of detail to it 
the other ones didn't have as much detail to it. Um, so I wanted to do something that was a little bit more detailed on the back to give it a little bit of um, flair too. So that's why I put the zipper on the outside. Also, I really wanted a decorative zipper that had a different, or I had the color of the metal teeth exposed. But I didn't have one. And I have like a huge drawer full of zippers that I got on a lot bid from eBay. And a lot of them are old, but they don't have the teeth original color exposed, like gold teeth or silver teeth. They're all plastic teeth that are the same color as the zipper. So with this one, even though the teeth color is not exposed, it does match the band and the fringe and then the, the white throughout the dress as well as the accessories that I chose to wear with it. So yeah, zipper on the outside. So those are all the alterations that I made. The zipper, uh, the band with facing, the top stitching to the band, and the fringe. Um, other than that, the dress was super simple to make. Like I said, I can't wait to make it in a knit so that I don't have to add a zipper to it. Um, it does give you the option to make it sleeveless. I love it with the sleeves. Um, crew neck dresses really work well for me. Um, you know, I like my arms out. I love my arms out. I love sleeveless dresses. But the crew neck works for me very well because even in the situation where there may be air conditioning, it still gives me the ability not to be freezing cold. And also, if I didn't shave my arms, I ain't got to worry about that because you can't even see that. <laughs> but anyway, this is the dress. I hope you guys like it. Please go and get this pattern. You will not be disappointed. And if this pattern is as popular as I think it will be because it's such a timeless classic pattern that you can do all kinds of prints with and then you can do all kinds of detailed stuff to it so that nobody's ever going to look the same. It may be hard to get your hands on this at some point. So it's going to be one of those where you're going through stuff and you're like, I want to make something, but I got to make something fast. This is it, okay? Because even if you do it in a solid color, your accessories can make it wow. Um, even if you do it in a solid color, but you like to add a lot of detail to it, you could put buttons all over it, which I'm going to do that. I'm going to make one in a solid color and just put buttons all over the, the, the skirt part. You could do uh, rhinestones, you could do jewels, you could do bedazzling, you could, and I want to do this too, I want to put um, handmade flowers all over it. Like this pattern is the bomb thickety. This handkerchief hem is so feminine and fun. And if you're like me and you like a full skirt, something that's going to move when you're walking and cause a little commotion, this is the pattern for you. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me calm down. I'm a little bit too excited. And I will see you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. I don't have any other sewing projects um, on the, the schedule for now for clothes. I'm getting ready to make... Uh, my shears for the living room, but that's not something I'm going to film because it's, it's just too easy. Y'all can find some fancy stuff on YouTube to look at. But as far as clothes, I don't have anything on the schedule, but that might change because I'm really, really in the mood to sew. After this, after this dress, I'm like, oh, I'm about to sew everything. <laughs> so, okay, guys, I will see you later.